Good day, folks. Welcome to another episode of Andrew's Life. Now, this video on this video, you guys are going to get to see two uh, s small towns towards the Northwest Indiana region. This is in rural Northwest Indiana. The first video you guys are going to see, the one you're looking at right now. Turn right is of Star City, east. which that right video is 14 minutes and 38 seconds. Immediately after uh, you see Star City, the next video, which is going to be on this video, it's all one video, it's going to be 10 minutes and 56 seconds. Totaling, totaling 25 minutes and 36 seconds. That's going to be the breakdown of my two videos I mean basically I took two videos and I put it in one because sometimes when you make a video too short it messes with the YouTube algorithm which could mess with my money that's what I've been told by people that have been doing YouTube a little longer so I don't know how accurate that is but you know I'm trying to get paid here I'm trying to get this channel built up so I'm just going to take what I think is sound advice. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to Star City, Indiana, which is located towards the Northwest Indiana region off of uh, Route 35. The population is currently sitting at 281 people. Now, that is down from 344 people back in 2010. So this city at this point is losing population. Now, I got my, I got my reasons why I think the city's losing people. Now these reasons have not been researched, these are just these are just my personal reasons, just a guess, which I'll get to in a minute. Now, if you want to live here, I mean, if you can even find a house here for sale, the average house price here is $135,000. I think right now there's only like, there's, there may only, there's only like one house for sale right now. And I don't think it's even in the city limits. I think it's out in the country. But here's the uh, here are some of the closest communities to Star City. Now, Star City is located six miles from Winnemac, Indiana, which I will be doing that video in the near future. Now, Winnemac is located six minute six miles north of here. And really Mac is a small, is, is what you can call maybe a town or a small city. It's not that big. But people that live out here in, in, the, in, in this region of Indiana, they typically are going to go into Winmac for their shopping and all their basic amenities. But other than, let's see. But as far as it goes for for larger cities, now 40, now you're, let's see, you're 20 miles away from Loganport, Indiana. I got that, I got that video on this channel. Now Loganport, it's about, if I can remember correctly, the population there is about 15,000 people, give or take, around that number. And then the next closest city to here would be Kokomo. That's on the channel as well. I just did a 2023 version of Kokomo. I'm gonna say about a couple of months ago, give or take, so go check it out. I'm in a population of Kokomo. Again, it's only about 60,000 people-ish. So it's not that big of a city. Now, as far as it goes for Metro areas, the closest metro area you have to here is going to be an hour and 12 minutes away or 67 miles from here. 
which is South Bend, which is going to be to the north. So, South Bend is going to be your your closest metro area to here. And I and, and I'm going to go ahead and assume that that is most likely the reason why this community is not really gaining people. They're losing people instead. Despite it being a nice, small, quiet, quaint town, I think that's the reason why people are leaving here because, you know, given that you're in the... Given that this is in northern Indiana, I mean, let's face it, the climate here it, during this time of the year, for well, I would say a good five months out of the year, downright sucks. Now this year, the snow hasn't been bad, but you know, there's other years where the snow can be pretty bad. And out here, I'm not sure if they plow like they do in larger cities. I'm gonna assume they don't. So with that being said, it, you know, living out here could be a bit of an inconvenience during the winter. And in some of these small rural communities, you know, if they don't plow, if they don't plow, it's very easy to get stuck. You're trying to get up out of here. You're trying to go to work or do whatever you're trying to do, and you can't because you're stuck. But somebody drop a comment in the comment section and, and let me know: Do they plow? Are they are they pretty good at plowing out here? During the winter, let me know. I, I, I would like to know. And I think other people would like to know as well. But you know, other, other than that, I mean, this appears to be a nice, quiet, peaceful community. I mean, although this region of Indiana does not have the best growing season, I mean, it, it seems like a good place to buy some land and put up a house or buy a pre-existing house and do a little bit of homesteading. I mean, you know, out here, like I said, it, the, the, the growing season is not going to be the longest, but maybe, I mean, if you put up a greenhouse, even a makeshift greenhouse, you can prolong the growing season a little bit. But, you know, I would say if you're looking to live in this region of Indiana, this could be a good place for you. But I'm going to assume the reason why the population is declining as opposed to growing or even staying stagnant is because of how far it is from metro areas. I mean, yeah, you got city, cities like Kokomo and Loganport that are not too far away, which... And, and, and of course, you got Winnemac down the street. They're all good places to go if you're looking for, if you're looking for just basic amenities. And some of those places do have job opportunities. But depending on what line of work you do, depending on what type of income you desire to make, you might have to go closer into a metro area for for those type of opportunities. So I'm gonna assume that right there. And also, there's been more people that have had to report back to the office. You see, during the during the pandemic, a lot of people were able to work from home. You had a lot of companies that were hiring people to work from home. But what's going on these days is you got a lot of companies that allow people to work from home now it's either a if you're lucky you're getting called into the office and you're, now you're having to report to the office anywhere from two to five days out of the week if you're not so lucky you might be one of the people that wake up you get your little email you or two you tap you 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 do what you gotta do you go to your little zoom meeting and now you're being told that hey sorry we don't need you you're being laid off and chances are, your position is probably going somewhere. Chances are, your position is probably being outsourced to India. Because they can hire people down there for a lot cheaper than what they can hire an American worker. I mean, I don't mean to get too political here, but, you know, it is what it is. 
So now that more people are having to report to the office for work, which means people are having to be in closer proximity to a metro area, little towns like this are starting to lose people. I mean, little towns like this that are further away from metro areas are starting to lose people. And like I said, I didn't research for my answer. My answer is just based off of what I consider to be just basic logic. And now, and let's see here. Here's a little bit of history about Star City. If I can find it. Star City was originally called Starboro, and under the latter the latter name, uh, this city was discovered in 1859. The original provider to be unpopular. The original name provided to be unpopular. Sorry. And the name was changed to Star City in 1861 by a vote of the citizens. And the post office has been in operation at Star City since 1862. So that's just a little history about Star City for those of you that may have been interested interested in that. And that's going to do it for my commentary for Star City. So continue to watch because remember I got another video that's connected to this one. I got Ambo Indiana. And I do have some commentary for that video. So uh, don't click off. Continue to watch. All right, folks, uh, welcome to Ambor, Indiana. Which Ambor, Indiana is located towards the northwest region. Well, no, Ambor, Indiana is located towards the northern middle of Indiana. 
I mean, it's, you know, depending on how you look at it, it's more mid-Indiana than north. But it's in the northern section of mid-Indiana, if I'm making any sense. Now, the population of Amboy is 317 people. And as of the 2020 census, this town has lost a whopping 17.4% of its people. The population back in 2010 used to be 384 people. Now, from 2000 to 2010, the population increased by 6.7%. So in 2010, people moved, people were moving in. As for in 2020, by 2020, uh, people left. But then again, this is a super small town. Like I tell you guys on some of these uh, small town videos, I mean, with a town that's only 300 and some people, lower than 400 people, you know, if a few people leave, it can make a substantial difference on the percentage when it comes to the population. But I'm pretty sure most of you are wise enough to realize that. So let's keep moving. Now, Ambor, Indiana is 19 miles from Peru. Peru is 19 miles north of here. And you're also 18 miles to Kokomo, which Kokomo is southeast of here. And you're 65 miles to Fort Wayne, which is northeast of here. And you're 77 miles south. And 77 miles south of here is Indianapolis. And you're within an hour of Carmel, Indiana. Now... I kind of gave you guys a guesstimate of why Star City was losing people the way they were losing people. Now, when it comes to Amboy, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know why Amboy is losing people. I have no idea. Maybe someone who's more familiar with this area can drop a comment below and, and let me know why that's going on. Because I say that because... Uh, Amboy is actually closer to more larger communities than Star City was. I mean, now I will say, now, now when it comes to Star City, I will say that Star City was a little bit more, uh, synetic than Amboy is. In my opinion, I I thought that the layout of Star City was interesting. It was unique. As for with Amboy, it's a lot more. It, it it's more plain, for lack of better terms. So, like I said, I mean, you know, you're only nineteen miles. I mean. So yeah, I have I, I you know, I'm lost on this one. Because given that you're you're within an hour of Hamilton County and you're within an hour of Fort Wayne, you have access to some of Greater Indianapolis's economy as well as Greater Fort Wayne's economy. And you're not far from Kokomo or Peru. Now, the median home price here if you can find a home for sale is a hundred and sixty eight thousand dollars and as far as what I think about this town I mean it's you know it's you know to me it's a typical quiet small Indiana town I mean you know if you're looking to escape the city life rather be metro or even the small city this could be a good place for you given how close it is to larger cities so yeah i have no idea why this place is losing population i have no idea i'm lost on this one i'm not even gonna lie all right folks i don't really have much more to say about amboy amboy 
I mean, what you see is what you see. I don't really have a whole lot of commentary on this one. However, there's like five more minutes left on the video, so go ahead and finish the video so you can see what the town looks like. And as always, if you want to help me out, all you got to do is give me a thumbs up. It's free. It doesn't cost you nothing. It doesn't even take you that long. And while you're at it, if you haven't done so already, consider subscribing to the channel. Or if you already subscribed, make sure you're still subscribed because for some weird reason, YouTube likes to unsubscribe people. So I don't understand that. I guess it's got some. I, I guess it's got something to do with. If I don't know, I'm not even going to try to figure it out. But make sure you're subscribed to the channel and give videos like this a thumbs up to help to help me out a little bit. It doesn't cost you a dime. So on that note, I thank everybody for tuning in and watching. And stay blessed out there. Stay happy. Stay healthy. Stay safe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.